Hi Aries, this is a general love reading for mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. And the roles can definitely be reversed. Although, um, this time around, I'm actually doing it a little bit differently. I actually want the focus to be mostly on you um, or for... This reading, it will be for the sign of Aries rather than looking at your person's energy um, separately. But you can check out their sign if you want to get more information on what might be going on from their end. All right, so let's see what is going on with Aries concerning love from now until the end of July. What is the overall energy? All right, we have the Dark Knight of the Soul. Okay. So again, keep in mind, it could be tapping into your person's energy, but it, this is meant to be for you, okay? So, okay, it looks like somebody is really, really having a difficult time right now, really having some revelations, having to face their shadows, and just going through a dark um, period, okay? And so I do believe that this might be you, but we'll see what this is about. Know that there is always a purpose for this, and you will come out of this stronger. Alright, so let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I will be doing past, present, and near future energies for you. So for the recent past, we have the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so it looks like you're, this is something that you've been struggling with for a while. I feel like there is definitely a situation here that has proved to be very challenging for you in the past, but it was something that you kept um, pushing towards, trying to open a new doorway, trying to find a new path when it comes to love. Possibly for some of you even self-love, but it feels more like, you know, whatever your situation is with, with the person here, it has definitely been a struggle when it comes to you trying to make things be just different than they were before. Trying to make things work in a way that will be practical. All right, but I definitely feel like there is somebody here who is very special to you, okay? There's a lot of, a lot of love here. Let's see what's going on. Currently, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Hanged Man. So definitely it could be a third party situation for some of you. Um, doesn't have to be, but either way, I feel like, yeah, you're still trying to really figure out some practical aspects, either within yourself or within the connection, in order to make this work. This is somebody that you do still have a lot of passion for. You, I mean, we have two aces here. You definitely want a new beginning with this person and you definitely want to go back to um, a dynamic that used to be here with this person. But I also feel like there might be something holding you back or there's just a little bit <clears throat> of contemplation and just thinking, which is kind of causing you to stay more in your thoughts rather than moving forward in whatever direction would help you to get unstuck. I do feel like you are putting in some effort though. All right, there's definitely some effort here on your end to move forward, to actually find some kind of passion, whether it be within your own life or with another person. But yeah, it's still it feels like there's still this energy of, um, Maybe just waiting a little bit, okay? And that could be because you're going through this dark night of the soul. And maybe this is related to all of this and this is what will help you get, get out of this. So let's see what is coming up. Let me just move these over a little bit for you. All right, so we have the sun, judgment, and the ten of pentacles. Wow, okay. So these are actually very, very positive cards to have here for your near future, right? There's definitely um, some sun coming in to 
um, overpower that dark night of the soul. I see you actually coming out of that, finding truth, okay, with the sun and judgment being here. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo also. Um, definitely, I feel like this is actually a major transformation for you. This is having some revelations and feeling like you are reborn again. I love that we have... Um, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and then Judgment all in the same row because these two aces, they're talking about new beginnings, at least wanting that, opening up that door. And then here with Judgment, it's like that actually happening. There's that rebirth for a new, for a new start, which is bringing a lot of stability um, as well as this could be commitment, this could also be marriage, okay, this could be prosperity, it's a lot of things, but it is, a, it is a love reading, so this is why I am seeing this as this being commitment and something consistent and stable, so it's actually very, very um, positive. So let's clarify some of these. So let's clarify the Nine of Wands in the recent past. Okay, the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so there is a connection here that this was something you know you really wanted, something that you know could really, really fulfill you. And it was all a matter of having to make some kind of a change, needing to turn the wheel in a different direction. And I feel like, you know, you got to the point where everything just felt so difficult, everything just felt so heavy, everything felt like it was a burden, maybe you felt like there was a lot of responsibility um, on your shoulders. And I feel like that is what may have kind of prevented you from fully making a change here but it's like you knew that there's this change that you needed to make but it was just something that was very very difficult even though it was that change that shift that would actually bring you this this nine of cups that wish fulfillment let me see the ace of cups i'm even almost getting that you know there may have been it, it's kind of like it's coming through as you finding some comfort in the situation as it was. Feeling like making that shift to move in a new direction was something that just felt overly burdensome for you to do. And I feel like maybe you tried, but then it was just more comfortable to kind of stay in a um, dynamic that you know, even if that dynamic was painful. All right, so for the Ace of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands showing up again. I mean, look at all these Aces. We have three Aces here, and we just got a fourth one. So this is all about, I feel like the focus for you has definitely been trying to create something new. Either wanting to open up a new door, wanting to reignite something, but in a new type of a way. All right, and we also have the Six of Cups. Okay, wow. So yes, there's definitely a person here that you are involved with that just really you feel like it's a very deep soul connection. I feel like you have a past with this person. So maybe something has happened where you might not be together because with the Six of Cups, this is also, to me, it's about also having nostalgia for the past. And especially because we also have the Ace of Wands, which, which is about reigniting a situation. Yes, it feels like this was just something you really wanted to do, and but it had to be done in a new way. And that's what the issue was here. or for you to just move in a different direction in order for that to enter your life. Um, and that was a challenge, that was a challenge. So let's see what's going on now. Let me see the Three of Pentacles. All right, the Six of Pentacles the Nine of Swords, and the Chariot. Okay, so it looks like you, it's interesting because we do have the Hanged Man, and, but there's this part of you here, you really do want to take action. Um, you are trying to move things, you are trying to make a difference here, but what I feel is happening is that 
there's some stress, there's some anxiety still that might be holding you back a little bit. I actually feel like for the most part you are doing it, but it's just that the overthinking, the overanalyzing, um, possibly thinking a lot about how it is that you can um, keep some kind of a balance when it comes to how much energy you are giving to different um, to different things or to different aspects in your life. To, I feel like you're stressed about how you can balance that out. You're you're still moving forward though. You're still moving forward though. And I feel like the message here for you is, you know, to just kind of try not to stress about the um try not to stress also about other people and how much you can provide to them or to or to other situations whatever those are this might have to do with some contracts it might have to do with a sense of responsibility maybe some partnerships that you've made with people um maybe another another relationship whatever whatever i feel like the message is you know you do not have to stress so much about how someone else is going to um How someone else is going to be okay you know that's not your responsibility and i feel like you have felt like you have been responsible a lot for for a lot of things here all right with that ten of wands in the very beginning and so the message for you is here no you have to go after what it is that you want what is it that makes you happy and i do see you doing that okay with the with the sun being here let's see the ace of wands Oh, okay. This is interesting. The Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, so I feel like there definitely has been an ending here. There's something that has ended which is making you want to recreate something new. Kind of like starting over. And this is something that for you feels like it's a bit of a challenge and that, again, it's coming through as you questioning yourself whether you will be able to balance and cope with different energies simultaneously kind of like multitasking like can i provide energy here here and here like how am i going to do this you know if this situation is over how can i revive that how much energy do i need to give to this and will it be enough because i'm also having to worry about this this and this a whole bunch of other things that are not related to this one and so I feel like that is what you are currently um, facing. Let me see the hanged man. And again, the message is, yeah, you know, you actually can. That two of pentacles. I mean, if you see this image, look how serene she is. She's like, yeah, you know, I got this. I can handle everything that I need to handle right now. Okay, so for the Hanged Man, we have ooh, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and Justice. So, yeah, you know, what you're doing, there's a lot of, again, there's, it feels like there's a lot of stress and a sense of responsibility, a sense of doubt that is holding you back from moving forward, even though you are moving forward. It's just slowing you down a little bit. I feel like you are moving slowly, but you are learning through this process. Um, you are learning how to see this from a different perspective, and I feel like you are beginning to see that things can work out. There are practical solutions. Sometimes we don't have the practical solutions beforehand. We can't foresee everything and have everything planned out. Sometimes we just need to kind of go along with the flow of things and allow the solutions to present themselves as we go along. You cannot have pre-planned every possible little thing. You just go with it and as you're going, the solutions will present themselves to you gradually, one by one. Okay, we have justice here. Everything's going to be okay. Everything is moving in the direction that it needs to. So whatever your intuition has been telling you, yes, follow that. That is the right direction. Don't worry about everybody else. They will be, they will be just fine. They will be able to take care of themselves. You have to do you.
So I, I'm, I'm mostly seeing this as just a little bit of a delay in whatever way you're deciding to move. Um, mostly because of stressing and possibly stressing about others for some of you. All right, so let's clarify the sun. The three of pentacles which is right above the sun as well. Okay, see, so whatever it is that is going here, either in a situation where there is more than one person involved, um, whether it is some kind of a contract, whether it is whatever this agreement is here, your happiness is what is the most important and that's what you're moving towards. You're moving towards being able to find that sense of happiness and putting yourself first above that. Um, you know, and again, it's just coming through as you not being so concerned about contracts and sticking to past plans. Things can change. You have the right to change things. You have the right to change your plans. You have the right to change your mind. Let me clarify judgment. I feel like there might also be a decision um, that is coming up for you based on this sun, based on you deciding to focus on your happiness. And look at that, the five of wands, again, I mean, <laughs> I was actually surprised we didn't get the five of wands because I keep feeling that there's other people involved. Um, all right, and the eight of wands. So yeah, making a decision that is possibly going to affect others, and it might affect others, you know, in a way where, you know, maybe it's not going to be as bad for them as you think. I definitely see you taking some action here on a decision. It's like a rebirth. It's like starting over and just being like, you know what, I'm going to do things a different way now. So I do also feel like this hanged man is also you being able to see things from a different perspective being able to take just a new, having a new outlook, which will affect your decision process here. So let's see the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, the lovers. Okay, so you, by you following your bliss, basically, regardless of others, just putting others to the side and only thinking about yourself here, and whatever conflict it brings to others, you know, well, you know, that they'll figure it out. Once you have that mindset, look at that. Commitment and the lovers, right? Something long-term, very stable, that is very, very loving. And yes, it could be this person that was this Ace of Cups here in the recent past. Okay, for some of you, it's going to be this person. For some of you, it could be something else. It really depends on the situation. But I see things really taking a turn here for you. So, Aries, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have the full moon in Aries, actually. Wow. A fiery climax approaches. Yes, this definitely feels like a climax. I definitely see you coming out of this dark night of the soul. Um, again, related to once you realize that you have to go after your own happiness and nothing else, that that is the most important thing, all right? There is definitely a climax happening here and changing things. All right, Aries, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.